let's check the disk detected on our system the one that we added in part one so we have sdb cde which is the 410g So we need to pb create dev sd b to e. So it's just a algorithm. So in one command, you can create the pb disk for LBM. So in the status, SDB, SDC, SDD, and SDE, and one command, it's already been created. So we can do a PB display. Show that all PB this is already created. So now we'll create a volume group using the command BG create. Then the name. So on our demo, I'm, I'll be using mailbox DB using the this SDB2E again. So the status now is volume group mailbox DB successfully created. Now we need to create a logical volume from the volume group to be used as our mount point for the mailbox database. So I'll be using the name Simbra for our mailbox DB. One hundred percent pre meaning I'll be using all the disks from the volume group which is the 40 gig on the mailbox DB volume group. Then if I do the LB display, should have a logical volume with the 40 gig, the sum of the four disks. So what is the advantage of this uh, using LBM? If your mailbox or in the future, your company want to scale up, you need to do additional mailbox for your user. You can just add additional disk on your server and add this, add that disk to the L, uh, PB and logical volume, then extend your logical volume zebra using the LBM command. So this is our LB path, dev slash dev mailbox db simbra. So we'll create an extension file system type xt4 to the dev mailbox db simbra. Done. So now uh, we will create the OPT disk, OPT mount point, sorry. So we'll remove it. Let's make sure there's no data on the OPT. So no. We'll mount the OPT. So we have the the tenji, the fourth tenji, 
it's created on the mailbox db simbra so let's mount it mount the mailbox simbra to opt so let's check so we are we mounted already the logical volume on OPT. Now we need to make it permanent. We need to add it on our FS tab. So when your server reboots, it's already mounted. Mailbox db simbra then the mount point is opt then the type is ext4 defaults so it will have to be scanned during boot and no backup as we'll be discussing simbra backup on the part 4 then let's save this one using escape wq and di to save so now our lbm diffs is configured via opt mount and we already added that to the etc fs tab so when your server reboot it's already permanent that permanent mounted next is we need to set up the host name for your mail server on my demo i'll be using mail.practicalseminar360.com So to add that to my host file then save it That's it. We're done on our part two. We have sent setup and configuration of this on our mail server. 